Hey y'all, I am back. Yes, I am doing a review today of this new sponge that I found. I, you know, I kind of like using, I like testing different kinds of uh, sponges and, you know, just new equipment, you know? So it is, this is the UV uh, sponge. It's an antimicrobial blender. It's an antimicrobial blender. It's claimed to fame, and I'll put the video up that they have circulating on social media, is that it does not um, accumulate bacteria, and so it's better, you know, for a makeup application, and, you know, you maybe your face won't break out. Um, so it's the, um, the claims are it prevents 99.9% .9 of bacteria from growing in, and on the blender, non-latex material blends makeup perfectly for a clean, even finish. So, yeah, and you care it with mild soap rinse with warm water. For additional cleanliness, use the UV Pro sterilizing systems. Keep out of reach of children. And this company is out of Irvine, California. You know, I have an additional blender which i will be giving away so if you you know make sure you subscribe to the channel and you know just say if you like beauty sponges and you know you'll be entered to win this because i did buy multiple ones of these so let us get started start using this oh this is wow this is one of the lightest This is one of the lightest foundation um, uh, sponges. It's really, really light. And I love this foundation because it really, I like it because it, it, it matches my skin tone like perfectly. And I don't ever have the pleasure of getting such great matches. And I usually just, you know, blend it kind of down my neck. I'm wearing, you know, sort of white, so I can't go too far down. And I don't really put too much foundation on my forehead either. Wow, this did a really nice job blending. Like, I like it. It's a very, it's, there's no weight to it because I have the beauty blender here. It's, this is a little bit heavier, but this is really, really light. Very light. But what I will say, it did not do a good job picking up powder and the beauty blender like can pick up powder really nicely. But this, when I was trying to put my powder down, it didn't do a good job. It's doing a beautiful job blending. Like, I love this. Like, maybe even better than my regular beauty blender. Like, I like that. I'm, you know, like, I'm pretty lucky because I don't really have, like, hyperpigmentation issues. Um, but... So I'm gonna go and use this um, concealer. This is the camel concealer, this is the regular one. I'm using the regular one because it tends to stick. It, it, it doesn't crease up as fast for me because I have such oily skin. So. Okay. All right, so I'm going to be contouring with this. This is the um, Woma a stick. It's a double stick. Why is my hand so dirty, y'all? It's the thing about makeup. Thing be going everywhere. 
yeah so this is the double take it is in what is this one this is the darkest one that they have it's th in number three <coughs> excuse me all right so i'm gonna just use that up here see how that that works really really well and i'm just gonna just do this Wow. So let's set this. Actually, let me, I'm gonna use this. I normally like to take the creases out before I set it, but I forgot to do that. So I'm, I used this a dry beauty blender. I cheated just a little bit. Ooh. You know what? I really like this shape right here because it really sets everything very nicely. Very nice. Let me get my forehead. Love that. That's really nice. And then usually what I do is I take a little bit of powder and I go here. Cause my, my, um, my nose tends to get a little bit um, oily, so I, I do that and it helps with that a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna use, this is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, bronzer. Oops, my stuff is dropping everywhere. I'm gonna use this, I really need to wash my brushes. This is the thing about like when you're doing makeup and using your hand, like everything gets so dirty. So I'm gonna use this. This is in the color deep, I think. Yeah, deep. So like I said, I always sort of use that to soften out my contours. And I just kinda, I love this bronzer. All right, y'all. So I'm waiting on my lashes to try dry up a little bit. So I bought this new Feeling It Luminous Powder from Jaclyn Hill. So. This is very fine milled. And I don't like strong highlights anymore, so. So, okay. My contour's still a little dark, but it's okay. Wow, really nice, Jacqueline. Okay, I see you. And this is what it looks like in here. You get a lot. This was like thirty dollars. And I love to highlight my forehead. Ooh, shit! <laughs> For my lipstick today, I'm going out, so I usually use liquid lipstick. I will leave all the products in the description bar or as a pinned comment. You know, um, yeah, so I really like it. I, they also have another color too. They have like a, this is the lighter color and you'll be winning this kind of like purplish color. So, cause I was able to buy like three of them. They had a sale, so i like it um so if you don't win definitely go ahead and check it out um and that's it you guys um make sure you subscribe you like and leave a comment if you want to win that sponge because it looked like it's doing a good job so yeah i'll see y'all later